pleased uh, to be invited to witness the first day of the opening of this school and the first day of the schooling day of this year, 2015. Uh, I'm actually very touched by the support given by the community to this school. In fact, uh, with uh, uh, starting with the land owner who donated this piece of land, two yeah. acres, Mr. Gan here, is uh, actually the donor of this uh, piece of land worth and uh, worth about 20, 20, million. 20 million. And you can see that uh, with this commitment, uh, the community come together, uh, support the establishment of this school. And uh, with a very short span of time, we are able to build this school, uh, a five-story uh, tall school, and accommodate 2,000 students. And definitely, uh, uh, it is a, a very successful uh, campaign that Dr. Yi Chong Luk has uh, brought to, uh, that we are able to build a school uh, in this <coughs> part of the uh, center of uh, Kuala Lumpur. Saya nak ucap tanya kepada lembaga pengelola sekolah dan juga semua penyumbang-penyumbang uh, yang membolehkan sekolah ini diwujudkan di kawasan Luang Samaju. Uh, saya merasa begitu uh, terharu melihat uh, komitmen daripada komuniti di kawasan ini yang telah pun membolehkan sekolah ini uh, di wujudkan dalam masa yang singkat sumbangan dari segi pribadi kewangan dan juga uh, bahan untuk membina sekolah ini uh, untuk makluman semua uh, kita yakin sekolah ini akan menjadi sekolah cemerlang uh, di mana kita dapat lihat komitmen daripada uh, lembaga pengelola uh, guru besar dan juga guru-guru yang terpilih uh, yang telah dihantar ke sekolah ini dan saya juga lihat tadi pelajar-pelajar uh, berbilang kaum uh, juga berada dalam uh, sekolah ini dan telah pun uh, menunjukkan bahawa uh, sekolah ini dapat memenuhi keperluan komuniti di sekitar kawasan uh, Wang Samaju uh, saya juga nak menegaskan di sini bahawa MCA uh, sentiasa uh, memberi sumbangan dan komited kepada pembangunan uh, pendidikan dalam negara kita. Kita yakin bahawa uh, pendidikan, sistem pendidikan negara kita yang berbagai aliran uh, akan terus diperkembangkan uh, dan kita juga yakin bahawa uh, kualiti pembangunan pendidikan uh, dalam negara kita uh, menurut uh, blueprint pendidikan negara akan mencapai tahap dan matlamatnya iaitu uh, daripada third level menjadi first level pada year of uh, 2025 uh, uh, ini adalah satu komitmen kerajaan dan kerajaan akan memberi sokongan uh, kepada pembangunan pendidikan berbagai aliran dalam negara kita tak kira SJKC ataupun SJKT ataupun Sekolah Kebangsaan semuanya adalah merupakan satu sistem pendidikan yang dapat melahirkan generasi akan datang yang intelek yang dapat memberi sumbangan besar kepada pembangunan negara kerajaan juga amat mengambil berat tentang talent pool dalam negara kita pembangunan semua manusia dalam negara kita amat penting dan kita perlu terus menarik lebih ramai talent uh, balik ke negara kita dan kita juga dapat membangunkan negara kita menjadi negara maju menjelang tahun 2020 uh, seperti kita sedia maklum uh, kita lihat bahawa uh, cabaran masa depan kita menjadi negara maju wawasan 2020 uh, salah satunya adalah untuk membolehkan uh, lebih ramai pakar-pakar uh, dan juga uh, sumber manusia kita uh, di uh, perkembangkan dalam berbagai bidang terutama sekali dalam teknologi maklumat dan teknologi uh, terkini 
uh, bagi pendidikan saya juga nak mensyorkan bahawa uh, kita perlu gunakan teknologi maklumat terkini uh, untuk uh, mendidik anak-anak kita it's high time that uh, we uh, strengthen our software in the school uh, kita banyak uh, memberi tumpuan kepada hardware dan sudah tiba masanya kita beri tumpuan pada software uh, pembangunan sekolah-sekolah kita iaitu dari segi kualiti uh, pendidikan, dari segi cara pengajaran uh, pedagogi dan sebagainya uh, untuk memastikan uh, pendidikan kita uh, menurut blueprint kita uh, anak-anak kita dapat belajar uh, dalam keadaan yang lebih uh, selesa dan lebih cepat Uh, oleh itu saya rasa uh, nowadays our smartphone our uh, iPad you know our uh, latest technologies have actually uh, enhanced the pace of learning by our children so the school got to keep up with the latest technology and I must praise uh, this Wangsa Maju School in fact they have put up uh, the smart uh, classroom Uh, we, we use computer-aided uh, teaching uh, material to help the children and these are some of the uh, strength that we have to give to the school so I will say that for a school it need to be a community-based school as you can see that for this one Samaju the community come forward uh, the government might not be able to sponsor all the teaching aids including computers Uh, teaching it smart school, smart classroom but the community come together, they can sponsor, they can help the classroom to become a smart classroom and uh, uh, help uh, the school to to develop so inilah yang saya nyat, uh, nak tegaskan bahawa uh, MCA akan membantu sekolah-sekolah uh, dan negara kita menjadi uh, smart school Uh, kita tahu bahawa pada tahun 90-an MCA telah pun melancarkan kempen Smart School Ching Ming Hua Xiao Xie Smart School in the primary school uh, Now we hope that we can go into Smart School uh, 2.0 We have launched the Smart School 1.0 It's time for us to launch the Smart School 2.0 so that we can actually improve uh, our Uh, teaching ability and also uh, allow the student to learn in a faster and efficient manner. Smart School 1.0 was 1998. Yeah. We launched in 1998. Yes, yes. Oh yes, 2.0 definitely. Uh, it is not only it is not only the numbers, but I think uh, we, if possible, we want all the school to be a smart school. Uh, but as you can see, we have two thousand one thousand two hundred and ninety-eight. I think, yeah, one thousand two hundred ninety-eight. Yeah, no, no, I threw out the whole the whole whole countries. Yeah. So, but anyway, it cannot be done overnight. It is on um, stages. As you can see that uh, the government also put in a lot of effort in improving the quality of education, uh, irrespective of sekolah kebangsaan, sekolah jenis kebangsaan, or uh, all the aliran. Uh, the most important thing is the starting point. Uh, we have to start somewhere. Uh, a thousand miles start with the first step. So we have to start somewhere and I think that we have start in 1998, we have, we have started the smart school concept. Now it's time for us to start the second step. So one step at a time and we should be able to achieve the objective of uh, the education blueprint 2025. We will, we will encourage the community to provide more software to the school. You see, as, as I know now, now, Dato' Yu Tiong Luk told me, just now, he, I visited the classroom. It gave about eight classroom, every classroom with one uh, computer-aided uh, teaching uh, material. So, uh, uh, one, one classroom costs about 10,000 uh, ringgit. 
So it's about, it's, it's the kind of commitment uh, from the community to this school. So they have raised about 80,000, they have placed eight school, eight classroom with this computer aided uh, uh, teaching aids. Yeah. Hundred and seventeen students, yeah. Standard ones or standard, standard three? One, standard one five classes. <coughs> standard one to standard three, yes. We start with standard one, standard two, and standard three only. <coughs> yeah, today we can see only standard one to standard three. So because it's a new school, so it takes time to fill up the school. And uh, actually Dato Yotungu got a, got very uh, a clear vision for this school. In fact, we hope that we can also build uh, what we call uh, a kindergarten as well, so that we can have uh, even kindergarten classes in this school. Uh, yes, MCA resolution clearly uh, commits MCA to increase the number of schools in these countries, to increase the facilities and the quality of the school in this country. So uh, we have committed to increase the number of schools in areas that need the school. So under the educational blueprint, so we hope that the Ministry of Education can plan forward for the community for the for various areas that need Chinese school as well as need Sekolah Kebangsaan and need Sekolah Tamil. The, the government need to plan forward. It's a government commitment. The government got to plan how to increase, uh, uh, provide uh, various level of school uh, to the people in these countries. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it is one of it. Yes. Oh yes, we have many other programs, you know, in terms of our party transformation program. We have a lot of progress in terms of our, uh, what we call, we are pushing forward economic growth in these countries. You know, it's our, our, our MCA resolutions are many, many areas. Uh, yes, yes, and we are moving towards it. Uh, yes, we will, we will, we actually, uh, we will, we will actually, actually it's starting, it has been continuous since 1998. But we thought of launching a second uh, phase of Smart School 2.0, and we'll I, we'll we will select about 20 school to 20 school as a starting point uh, to uh, strengthen uh, Bahasa Malaysia and Bahasa Inggris in the Chinese school. I, I think uh, there are many ways of doing it. So, uh, but one of the one of the important things that we, no, we look now is how to strengthen uh, Bahasa Malaysia and Bahasa English in Chinese school, and we think one of the way is through the smart school method. We can if, we can let the student learn faster, an easier way to learn through the smart school. So we are trying it out on this, and we are planning it. I will let you know when is the timing. Yeah, this year, this year. This year, this year. Untung uh, menghadapi uh, runtuhan tebing uh, sungai Bentong uh, menyebabkan uh, jambatan itu uh, tidak dapat uh, bersambung dengan darat. Uh, the approaching roads to the bridge is broken. It's not the bridge broken. Uh, jambatan itu masih ada kukuh, struktur jambatan itu kukuh. Tapi uh, uh, tebing, abandonment uh, sungai itu telah pun guntur. Maka uh, semalam kita telah arahkan uh, JKR uh, menyelenggara tebing ini segera dan JKR berjanji memerlukan sehari dua untuk selesaikan uh, uh, projek ini dan saya yakin uh, dalam besok atau lusa jambatan itu akan boleh dibuka untuk kenderaan. Uh, hari ini, pagi ini saya telah mendapat maklumat yang terkini uh, Memang kita adakan shuttle bus di, di, di dua belah uh, jambatan Dan murid-murid yang pergi sekolah telah mendapat perkhidmatan shuttle bus yang, yang, yang baik 
dan uh, tak ada masalah dari segi uh, pengangkutan di Bandar Bentong. Saya ucap terima kasih kepada semua pihak yang telah pun memberikan orang kata sokongan dan uh, galakkan untuk kita menyelesaikan isu ini dengan cepat. Ini isu yang besar eh, di kawasan Bentong kerana Bandar Bentong terputus akibat uh, jambatan Bentong utama yang uh, orang kena menghadapi uh, masalah ini. I think masa cukup eh. I, I have to rush for another meeting. Ada lagi last ya. Itu lain lain hari saya ucap itu ini bukan hari ini. Eh seluruh negara. Apa dan? I I didn't hear three or four school like. Oh, okay. Other new school, is it? Oh, yes. I think they are all progressing. The Bukit Serdang is already completed. And also the Sungai Long. There are Sungai Long. There are a few schools, yes. Near future. Really near future. No, no. It's, it, it will be, it will be in this year. It will be in, it will be in this year. Yeah, it will be in this year. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, tak ada semalam semalam dah saya dah semalam saya dah cakap dah berhubung dengan QZ 8501 uh, 48 jenazah telah ditemui dan uh, black box telah pun dikenal pasti tempatnya uh, dan kita tengah berusaha untuk mengeluarkan black box uh, uh, Asia Indonesia ini dan kita berharap uh, uh, kita dapat mencari balik black box dan kita dapat uh, menyeli, uh, menyiasat apa sebenarnya berlaku kepada uh, Indonesia Asia kerana kita nak tahu sebabnya dan kita perlu uh, memastikan keselamatan uh, pesawat-pesawat uh, penerbangan uh, uh, seluruh dunia. Yeah. Okey. Pardon? No Indonesia. It will be under Indonesia. Indonesia lead investigation.